Hello, and welcome to, welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to some more Starcom. Uh, so yesterday I attempted to do this, I had a couple of problems, uh, uh, really, really bad migraine yesterday, uh, and um, just had to sleep it off. Uh, so uh, sorry for no, no episode yesterday, uh, we're going to get back in here today. Uh, so I kind of went around to a lot of the places, kind of opened the map a little bit more. Um, I found a few more stars that I hadn't gotten to yet. So we're going to start heading towards some of those. Uh, I, I actually tried to go back up here and, and mess with our new friends. Uh, they, they, uh, they didn't kill me, but um, they, they definitely set me on fire. Uh, so I need to get basically more, more stuff. We need to get, you know, uh, more upgrades to our shields and stuff like that and, and weapons because uh, the weapons we have just don't seem to be penetrating their 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 uh, shields or stations. Um, I sat up there and, and pounded on one of the stations for probably a good three or four minutes, and it just did not. <laughs> it just it just didn't. Uh, I didn't I didn't even put a scratch on it. It, it was not it was not awesome. So I kind of run around to some of these other places. See if we can find anything like this. See, the only rock in the desert is an antique freighter. Arrived here. Engines old fashioned Newtonian reactive. Okay. Planetary flight. Quick just led. Had only to here. All right. Uh, oh, aluminum and some titanium. So that's good. So we'll go ahead. We'll go check the other side of the start. Even though we, if there was anything over there, we should have seen it. Fly close to the star just to kind of make sure. All right, so there's nothing there. And then I should have had... Uh, that one's already been explored. That one's been explored. I think that one's been explored. Those have been explored. So I am slowly running out of stuff to go do. So let's go... Let's go back to the station, and we'll look at our, our things here. Uh, five minutes sold to the Trade Guild. So I basically, I have to buy that artifact from the Trade Guild. And the Trade Guild, I think, won it. I think they, the Trade Guild won it Iridium. Can't remember which one the Trade Guild won it. So we'll go back to the station here real quick. If there's anything fun for them to tell us to do, nothing. Uh, research. How many research? I have 145. Uh, let's see. Where is... Laser shields. What's this one do? Natural laser charge. Not super worried about that. Unknown technology would probably be helpful. All right, I don't really have anything more down there. All right. So let's go talk to... I want to say this may have been the Trade Guild. We're going to see if we can find the Trade Guild here again real quick. Like I said, one of these days... I, I keep saying it, but I probably I probably should mark the map where I find these yahoos at. Um, so there there is one right there. Let's go talk to him. Figure out what he needs. Come here. All right. So there's traders. Talk to him, and they want iridium, right? I like to trade with you. Uh, so we need. Well, I have fifty six iridium now. So I need the archival crystal. I definitely need that one. Because that's the one we need to... Oh, we can actually sell the other artifacts. So once you have these... I didn't I didn't see that I could have done that earlier. So that's actually a lot of Iridium that we can get from them. Because we don't need the old artifacts. Like, they don't do us any good. Um, so we can just sell all of them. Like, we won't get all of our money back from it. But, like, I don't need all this stuff. Like, they can have it. Uh, I should have done this beforehand. Um, 
it's, 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 it's like, oh much iridium. All right. Uh, so the archival crystal, I need that. Probably should have bought the other things first. Can I sort by price? No, that would be too easy. Uh, let's see. I need, there was a 56 one, the remnant scroll. I need that one. And then there was the other one that was like 101. Where did it go? There it is right there, the brass joint. All right. So that way we have all that stuff. Of course, it's our primary purpose. Uh, yeah, no, I'm done talking to you. Um, let's go ahead and stop that. Let's go to the Z here. Let's go to our cargo. Uh, so there's our brass joint. So we're going to go ahead and analyze that. It's kind of presumably old document uh, is transcribes a mathematical proof of constant. And we know remnant of the remnant language. All right. So hopefully we can a little bit more remnant information. The brass joint here. Silver mechanical connected composer brass like metal. Apparently indestructible can articulate the range of motion. And then uh, the archive crystal. Low density data storage are standards. It contains the detailed uh, treatises of elements of Arcadian uh, creation myths. Okay. And then honestly, we could probably just talk to him and, and sell it, but we'll, we'll, we'll keep that stuff for a second. All right. So that should hopefully, I see where do we need to go now? Oh, wrong button. Uh, let's go back to our mission here. Let's see. Found a devout reversing high priority objective and progress scepter from the unusual tomb. Imperial flora. Okay. So let's go back and talk to the station. See if anything fun happens there. As well as it sometimes does. All right. A little bit of water. Would you guys please get out of that so I can go? <laughs> so just go into the wormhole. All right. Let's try this again. There, go home. All right. Done in Fort Knox at Arcane Art. Uh, that was very unusual. Culture and unique history, method of scientific map, oceans, that waves with warp fields, etc. Okay. One particular segment of a completely different language, or at least I think it's language, is flowing lines with intricate patterns that look tranquilizing like warp equations, but uh, complete context is missing. Okay. Lieutenant Milton, more, more resources. Uh, ship design, space travel, okay, all for now. Uh, research, so we can go into here. I think we're still just kind of getting to the point where we need to try, we're still, let's see, a lot of time researching civilization space, you might have some better insight. Uh, so we need to go talk to the Lanthia again. Shipyard, new ship. Dreadnought, we still need one Atheron and four uh, Edamantine. Okay, let's go talk to Gore Cruiser, Gore Cruiser, Gore Cruiser, the Olynthia. Come here. Come here, Commander. And throw you out the airlock. Do, 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 do. After. You last left to reach out to Goria for shared their collective data. Arcadia is with us. The basic myth is two peoples were chosen by gods and shot across the sea, a pair of great arcs, and settled the promised land. It's a long journey. Daring the children of the peoples who were tired and wished to return home, they knew the character of the gods and asked him to take them back. He could not disobey his masters, but he could, uh, but he could promise to keep them safe and teach them the workings of the ships so they could understand their journey. Children used the teachings to free the corrupted waves that carried the ship, thinking that would stop them. Instead, it tore the ship apart. Waves caused the other ship to, uh, to founder and become it lost in a storm. The Talarian called upon the chariot to save as many of the Arcadians as he could and passed beyond the Great Ring. 
Credings himself are later believed, and this myth was likely relevant in Compostable. Okay. Gloria Locan, Brigadier, okay, and Communications. All right. So let's find out what's in here now. Uh, let's see. Loghead reference to a half chariot. All right. So back to the half chariot. Right. Let's go go check with the half chariot. So basically now what we're trying to do is is trying to figure out what is going on with the chariots and uh because now now we've found out there's two of them. Oh so there, there's a lot of research, and there's a lot of you know, here's a dagger, go kill a dragon. Uh it's you know, normal stuff. Hi buddies, how you doing? Oh, you exploded. Can we blow that up, please? That would be great. These guys are angry. <laughs> hey, I wish I would stop shooting me with a pink goo. I don't like it. All right. That was all better now. All right, now let's go do this over here again. Let's try to try to get over there. The crew is ready for battle stations. Yeah, they are. You get ready for them battle stations. Come on. Kind of upset you can't fire when you're going through the flinger. Do, 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 do. I don't know why the flinger disables my my shields or my my weapons, and then out if we can figure out a way to, to use that to our advantage. Do, 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 do. Hey. Oh, that's right. I'm, Come here. A little bit of laser action. That'll be all good. They're pretty angry today. I don't understand why they're so angry. It's not like I've been blowing them up for weeks or anything. Tracking down their stations, you know. All right. That is all good now. Let's try this again. We'll eventually make it down there. We do have a little bit of debris in place here. Problem is, is I don't think I can actually fire at it enough to, to, to destroy it at these speeds. Yes, the Arcadians interstate space shallow and wormholes, even if they express it, well, we can't uh, find quaint. Dying did not pass through the nearby local gateway and went beyond it. Uh, it might be worth investigating the space beyond uh, behind their gateway as viewed from their planet's perspective. And then these things here, I'm still, I get, it's still, I still can't do anything with them. All right, so. It's telling me to go down here. 
Maybe. Or I don't know if that's the, the way to go. or Because it's from their perspective, so I should be going here. So I don't know why it's telling me to go over there. But we'll, we'll, we'll keep that in, in mind. All right, so we're going to go all the way all the way back because it's shorter. At least the computer think it is. Because if you go through the other one, that thing is really, really slow. And we'll go, we're going to go fly off into space. It's funny how it, how it measures and, and come, comes and decides that one way is faster than the other. Still need more engines. Still need more engines. Dude. Come on, come on, come on. Go in. There you go. All right, so in there, into the gateway, that should take us over here, and then just... Start checking. Always going forward because I can't find reverse. Even though I think what it may be saying is, but even even that the star there, like that thing, from their perspective, that should still be like in this line. Um, but the other marker was down here for some reason. So if this one doesn't work, we'll kind of we'll kind of look over there. We'll kind of come out this way, and then we got like if we come out here you'll see that it's slowly pushing this fog back there's a star over there okay go ahead we'll head to the star it's the first thing of interest that's shown up oh more green stuff Got a gas giant. Got another little planet. All right. Ooh, what are you? Oh, explody bits. With zinium in them. Oh, good, these guys. Hey, get out of that stuff. All right, we're just a little bit on fire. It's all right. Oh, good. I'm glad they got new superpowers. That makes me happy. Come on. Come on. That's that's not awesome. I don't like it when they do that. That's okay. They don't like it when I do this. The sad part is I think my ship's faster than theirs and they get they get crazy warp stuff. Do 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 do. Anyone? See, let's go ahead. Look at this guy. Anything fun? Nothing. Nothing. Ooh, an etherine. Or the survey team. Another devout prison. Maybe yep, free the prisoners. 30. That's not helpful. Then we have to come back and try to free them again later. Why did my ship just catch on fire? Going on here, our systems are attacking themselves from the fractal ice fragment we covered required additional analysis. Oh, good, it's a virus. 
Our fact itself is harmless, but the data uh, contained caused our assessments to run amok when they tried to analyze it. We need to go back to Solano and take them offline for a hard reset. Oh, good. Any rest to Solano? Problem is, is I'm going to either have to travel back through there, or we're going to jump through a portal here. Um, so, all right, so, and here we go. We're just going to, luckily when you jump through the flinger, all the fires go off for a second. Oh, good, fire's back. Come on. It's really hard to try to catch. I'm trying to catch a screenshot for those guys while they're they're flying around, but it's hard. I need I need about six more hands. I'll just pull it in afterwards, uh, so I'll be fine. Oh, back up from that. Let's go ahead. Do that. Let's get this guy. Oh, there you are. My whole uh, re repair that we have the technology. I think I think the systems are still running amok and it's causing between them and the, the other guys are trying to blow me up. I need to find there. You go. All right, we got him done. I need to find a warp gate to get out of here. Oh, there's one right there. So we're going to go back to the station real quick. Because uh, that's the safer thing to do right now. Because what's happening is every so often our ship explodes. Um, and if our ship explodes while we're in the middle of a fight, uh, our ship will really explode. And we'll go back, talk to the station, get get all this stuff sorted out. Let's see operations Rama I can show you a moment question that's curious at the moment and he's urgent here's my work uh, our computer seem to be acting up makes we need a hard reset acting up is an ironic understatement Serenity is having a phylactic attack of ingesting hostile data could have, you could have destroyed her also us but through through a uh through a vacuum flask, it hit three lab assistants who knew enough to add <laughs> filter to more computational resources. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. We only have two ships. Hard reset Surrey system. Kind of threat is that uh, avoidable even if we haven't fallen Captain Dawson's reports. All right. All right, fine, fine, fine. We'll be all right. Now, back down to here. Okay. So we have lots of places to go here. We have two places to go there to go visit. We have the prison to still kind of got to go clean out. So we'll just go down here. Uh, I think the ice fractal up oh, missed something there. Let's definitely not do that. So we'll go down here. Uh, go ahead and research these places. See if there's anything fun down here, or if there's uh, somebody that needs to be shot in the face. Anything? Anything? Nope. Deploy the team. Ooh, Xenium. Can't remember what I need Xenium for. I think it's a weapon or a shield or something. I don't remember. We'll just keep kind of flying around, deploying the team. The usual boundary between two gas regions is highly desperate gas. Okay. Uh-huh. I always, I always love it when I can get away from the, the team. They'll, they'll, like, zip in here in a second. I usually zip in.
Did I finally lose him? I didn't see him come back. I may have blinked. Usually when they come back, they come back fairly quickly. Oh, they must have come back, but I didn't see him. Markings crashed here recently, possibly within days. The reactor is still warm. There are no survivors. Turn light. Ooh, a trinary key. So we're looking uh, for new stuff now. Always looking for new stuff. Deploy the survey team. More aluminum. Have any more? Nope, nothing there. All right, let's go into this flinger here. Into the flinger. Anyone? Anyone? Get down here. Ooh, angry ships. Now, when you start getting into a fight with these guys, it's probably a good idea to make sure you have all those things kind of cleared up. Because they will they will explode them. And then and then explode you. Shoot that guy. Shoot him. How'd you live through that? I want these pink missiles, the Geneva Convention missiles. Those would be great. Come here. Come back here. Fine. Keep forgetting I have a shield. All right, you're done. You just don't know it yet. Do, 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 do. All right, let's go ahead and scan that bad boy. Anything fun? Nothing fun. Ooh, we got a station. I should turn that off. Let it start recharging. I got a shield too. Except for mine lasts longer. Anything? Anything? No, nothing. All right, so we already kind of come in that way. Okay. So. I know a secret. We're going to kind of go through here. I don't think they've told us where it is yet, but I know where it is. Then get these guys done. Get these all kind of researched up here real quick. We do have a few more up here that we haven't done yet. Boy, the survey team. Uh, single oxygen rich one. Okay, easy enough. More researches. More researches. Anything fun here? Boy, the team. Another devout prison. Go ahead, try to free them. Oh, look. Lisa's really good at getting injured lately. All right, back over here. We just back up to this first place up here. Anything fun? Anything? No, nothing. Go to the jet gas giant and the other guy over here real quick. Anything? Nope, nothing. I'm having to kind of slow down <laughs> and go over the planet. Because if not, it takes a second to scan. 
uh, and uh, if I'm under full speed, uh, we'll, we'll go too far. Now, obviously, we have this nice little thing. It's an arrow pointing towards something we want to go visit. All right, let's go visit the Yellow Star. Whenever you find new things, uh, a new star system, go explore it. Like, that's that's the best thing I can tell you. The uh, looking looking for uh, looking for new things to go and be able to do, uh, it's it's lots of fun. So I'm gonna run over a little bit today. Give y'all a little bit of a, a long at one. You guys already built a station down here again? Didn't I blow that thing up last time? Beaten feet. So, uh, but we still need to, you're, what you're trying to do is you're trying to get further into the game. So that as you get further into it, uh, you start opening the resources you need to be able to open and make a bigger ship. Uh, and we're, oh. <laughs> That's why you don't run into those. <laughs> luckily, luckily the game auto saves. So uh, the problem is, is we're <laughs> we we need to uh, probably take a better control. <laughs> <laughs> that I forgot those were out there. Oh, that's funny. Right, we'll do that. I'll kind of go a little bit slower. We, we're going. I was going so fast by the time I saw it. I like. I didn't even have time to react. Did not have time to react. Kind of, kind of taking self control this time to. That's probably a mistake. Kind of keeping an eye out. You think? More, more devout, more freaking angry guys down here. Do, 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 do. Come on. More, more anger. You got that guy. Got a station down here. And our shields recharge as we, you know, destroy a station. That's fine. I get more firepower than you guys do anyway. Go get that guy. Ooh, we got a wormhole down here too. That is helpful. That's in there. Go ahead and activate that guy. That way we can know where we're coming back to. That'll give us a chance to get out of here a little bit easier. And there's our buddy. Do -do. Deploy the survey team. Appears to be an intact version of the remnant uh, wreck previously encountered, aka the Tolkien chariot. Generally said the artifact above, hundreds of uh, recently dead devout researchers. Uh, Dibrillium, Terralite, Ethron, Atonium. Yeah, good stuff. So instead, I'm going to do this. If you stop talking to me, that'd be great. All right. So there is that guy right there. And then we're going to go ahead and head into the chariot. And we're going to investigate. Normal social so signs of activity around what looks like the entry hatch attempts to in, uh, interface with that are blocked by an encrypt jammer on the far side. All right. So that wasn't helpful. 
So guess what? We got to go find something that will allow us to, to use that and be able to get into it. So we found the, the second chariot. We found it where it's landed uh, and where it's it's come to rest. So our next trick is to get in sight of it. In and of itself uh, is easier said than done. Oh, it's a big station. Oh, no way. I'm zoomed in. Oh, they got multiple stations here. Yeah, I don't think they want me to be down here. Angry. Oh, they are angry. One of these days, I'm going to get a bigger ship. One of these days. That guy wanted no part of me. He was like, nope, I'm out of here. I think, I think my guns are slightly broken up front. Oh, you want to come in and sneak attack me? Come on, would you blow up, please? Titanium... Get those guys. All right, come on, get them. All right, so lots of more kick in the bee's nest. Or the hornet's nest in this case, because they're angry. All right, that is all good. All right, let's go back to scan this guy. Nothing, nothing, nothing. My navigation is offline. Uh, well, my whole ship is on fire. Oh, that's a big station. I do not like... Oh, you've got to upgrade a Havoc. Oh, that thing is, I picked up something, picked up a shroud controller. Oh, it's a mothership. That's why. thing is angry just take off some of its limbs just take off some of its limbs oh no he made friends oh its friends were too late what are you it's a purger little harasser ships I don't like them Come on. Battle stations. I <laughs> need battle stations faster. All right. So that guy's done. Oh, we have made a mess today. All right. Now let's go see what we found. Let's go start with that. Deploy the survey team. Uh, cargo. So we found Trinary Key 1, Trinary Key 2. So Trinary Key 1, about uh, part of a three-factor authentic encryption protocol labeled redacted access. 
part of three. Okay. And then what's this guy do? Got, uh, have modified their flak system to multi-target offensive weapon. Okay. Mark multi-target offensive weapon. We got it. Powers would have havoc weapons to alternative offensive fire mode. Character outpost. The very high, high uh, medical, which is walking <laughs> be on a post. Yeah, just like, just look like you know what you're doing. You'll be fine. Okay, have the ship return to the ship for now. We'll we'll come back later. We'll try that again. Interesting data tablets. I think they uh, wait a bit and come back. We'll be able to grab them before they get suspicious. Boy, that team. Clean, large receiving, left mostly intact. And that platinum and neutronium. All right, so redacted, spotted something of interest. So we need to basically go visit some other places and come back. Uh, so if we go back to here, we can kind of get the... <laughs> yeah, let's take the long way around. Oh, no, it's going to go back to the other place, jump in the warp gate, and then come back from the other side. Um, so uh, we made good progress today. Found the chariot. Uh, we've done... Uh, <laughs> We found found a new weapon. Oh, you know what? You're right. What am I doing? Uh, we're gonna go back. We're gonna go back and get the, the new havoc weapon. We're gonna change the havoc weapons to to do everything. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change uh, this to all. We can go back to our gateway. We're gonna go in here. We'll go ahead and research the other havoc weapon. Let's see. Milton, more resources. All right, I'll take it back. You're good for something. Uh, let's see, resources. Uh, we still have an open, let's open chrome plate. Oh, we'll pin our ship while we're at it. We've waited long enough. Plasma, reactors. Uh, we've got all those. Officer training, tractor beam. We still have those. Uh, universal training. Uh, we don't need the train analyzer. Uh, this stuff is all open there. The Havoc system, Havoc Shroud, it's 250. Allows an alternate weaponized version of the Havoc launching mass of independently targeted projectiles. Yes, we want that. Okay. And then uh, Shroud fires two additional... Pro yep, let's do that. Okay, and then a sustained fire increases the duration of Havoc Volley by two and a half seconds, reduces cooldown. Uh, burst increases the damage of our Havoc Burst. And then these are Primer Hemp So we'll probably spend some of that stuff on that. Uh, fighter drones, we haven't opened them. Nothing in the lasers. Uh, we're still waiting. There's another shield thing we have down here that we haven't opened yet. And then there's a couple more Fallen Empire stuff we haven't opened. Okay. Ooh, operations. Milton. Uh, I was researching gravity waves. Similarly, a physics model I worked on at first sight was a novel weapon. It turns out it's gender producing negative gravity waves. Station stabilizers use a similar principle to keep constant orbit without a thrust. Some like working on clearing debris and mines all for now, right? So now we go back to research. We should be able to go, I think, in the fixed cannons. Uh... Gravity generator, or the tractor beams in the gravity generator. So we we want to open the gravity generator, and then we'll open. Increases the max range of a gravity gun. Okay, we'll open both of those back into here, uh, shipyard. So we do have, we have four havoc systems. We have a couple of lasers. Uh, first thing we need to do is get rid of one of our guns up here. Utility. Uh, gravity beam gun Oop, right there. So we'll go ahead and put a gravity gun in. Uh, we are going to need that very soon. Uh, it's control like secondary weapon with a ch uh, charge as long as charged. Okay. So, um, and then we're going to go out, head out here. So the way the gravity gun works is going to hit R to switch fixed guns, lasers, havoc systems, shroud, right? Uh, gravity beam, right? So the gravity beam, you press and hold. And then, okay, that's a new effect, and I really like it. That is cool. 
Hey, kind of can, can we shoot the gory with it? <laughs> we can. Uh, so can we can we shoot the station with it? <laughs> Shove the station around with it. Oh, that's great. Can we push the station into the sun? Oh, I'm sorry. We're going to be well way over time now. Let me see if I can push somebody into the sun. They don't seem to catch on fire like I do. No, they don't catch on fire like I do. Oh, the dev thought of it. All right, we had to try, right? All right, so uh, we can push people around with a, with a gravity gun now. <laughs> it's great. All right, uh, so we got the chariot, we got the gravity gun, we got all kinds of stuff now. So we also have, uh, so if we hit secondary weapon, the problem is, is the secondary weapon here is if I go into Z, right? And I go to ship systems, like it doesn't give me a Havoc system where I can change uh, the, the direction of the Havoc. Uh, and then, so I basically, I have to do Havoc Shroud like this. Um, let me go down, let me go find someplace real quick to go, to go try to go find someplace to try to find somebody to have a chat with. There's usually a couple of small Red Raiders over here. Go down and have a chat with them real quick. Mr. Whiskamug, how you doing? He still has things that we haven't bought from him. He's expensive. But I think it's the drone thing, so I don't know if it, we actually even need them anymore. Because I've eventually found them. Yeah, see, I caught on fire. All right, so we have these guys down here. So we're just going to fly down towards them and go. Oh, they didn't. Yeah, there they go. Then they turn into missiles. So basically, they, they pop out. And then, then they fire, turn into missiles. So, and then if there's people around that are uh, not not uh, cooperative, uh, then it, it kind of helps us out. Get these guys. It's been a while since I've been down here to clean these guys out anyway. Get some more Xenium. But adamantine is kind of what I need. Now, if I do that, these guys should turn in on it and then kind of kind of pop in and, and get those guys. Lots of fun. All right. So with that, I'm going to head back to the station. Uh, we will catch you guys next time. Hopefully you are enjoying this series. I, I'm having a blast with it. Uh, I honestly, it's this is quite possibly one of my favorite games that's come out in recent time. Um, and it, it's just such a good game. It's being able to do it and kind of play it the way I want to with the weapons I want and uh, kind of been in it your own play style and still still playing the game. Uh, it, it's, it's just, it's awesome. Uh, the devs done a really good job at, at putting the game together and making it and building it uh, and uh, updating it and listening to the community. Uh, it, it's, it's great. Uh, but as always, if y'all like the videos, please consider throwing a like on them. If you have a question, comment, or concern, you can leave that down below. And then uh, once you get all that done, uh, if you're not subscribed to the channel and you'd like to be, there's a button for that too. Uh, we'll catch you guys next time. Y'all be safe. Talk to you soon. Bye.